When asked about the greatest girl groups of the 90s, names like the Spice Girls, TLC, and In Vogue are often thrown out. But there was a girl group that also came out in the 90s, had three number one hits from one album, but disbanded after their second album, and their names were Wilson Phillips. Today I want to talk about Wilson Phillips because I feel like with the greatest girl groups, they're often lost in the shuffle. So without further ado, this is what happened to Wilson Phillips. Before we begin, if you want to see music bios or more good videos like this, hit the subscribe button. And without further ado, on to our feature presentation. The group Wilson Phillips came from music royalty. The Wilson sisters, Carney and Wendy Wilson, are the daughters of Beach Boy member Brian Wilson, while China Phillips is the daughter of John and Michelle Phillips of Mama and the Papas. So Wilson Phillips already had some big shoes to fill. They were said to meet while there were infants. The parents of Wilson Phillips will play basketball. The bond between Brian Wilson and John Phillips was so strong, it gelled to their daughters. They would often sing with hairbrushes and brooms and would sing Fleetwood Mac, ABBA, The Eagles, among others. By the time the girls became teenagers, they grew apart. China's teen years were rough. With her dad being on the road and on tour, she felt alone so she turned to drugs. China's path was going in a dangerous path when she dropped out of high school. Out of school, she decided that acting would be her career. China appeared in the television film Roxanne the Prize Pulitzer where she played the titular role. In 1986, China was approached on doing a charity single with the daughters of famous musicians. She initially approached Moon Zappa, who's the daughter of Frank Zappa, and Ioni Skye, who's the daughter of Donovan Skye, but both declined. Then a thought in her head came and she recruited her childhood friends Carney and Wendy Wilson. They agreed and even though the charity song never came into flourishing, China reconnected with Carney and Wendy. They love how they connected and sound together so much they decided to soldier on and become a full-time group. Harmonies wise, Carney took the lower leads, China loved the middle part, and Wendy handled the higher parts. With the help of their mothers, they were able to seek a meeting with producer Richard Perry. They sang four words of the Stevie Nicks song, Wild Heart, and Perry was floored. He had them record a series of demos and he would send those demos to record labels in hopes they'll sign them. None of the major labels didn't take a chance on the girls because their harmonies and sound were too different. One label, a small label named SBK, decided to sign the girls. They went through various names for their group and those names included Pretzels and Mustard and Lita with their debut album being named Chasing Swans. But instead they went with a safe name. Wilson Phillips, as it's the last name of Carney and Wendy, and Phillips being the last name of China. While they were working on their debut album, China decided to write a song about her past struggles. Those lyrics were based on her time in AA, Alcohol Anonymous, using the whole take it one day at a time theme. That song would later be known as Hold On, but when China performed the song for the Wilson sisters and producers, she didn't get the response she hoped for. Producers said that the song is too corny and it won't go anywhere. At first, the producers were right. When the song was released in early 1990, the song debuted at number 74 on the Billboard Hot 100. Critics also echoed the words of the producer in calling it corny. Then something clicked. Radio started to play the song and MTV started to put the video in rotation. By the time the summer of 1990 came around, the song reached number one on the Billboard Hot 100. Hold On will also top the charts in various countries and it will also top the year-end list for 1990. Hold On will also win a Billboard Music Award for Hot 100 Single of the Year, but honestly speaking, I prefer this version of Hold On that came out that same year. Hold on to your love. In May 1990, their self-titled debut album was released. After the album was released, they released a follow-up song to Hold On called Release Me. Release Me would become the girls' second number one single and they joined the Jackson 5 as the only group to have their first two singles go number one. For their third single, Impulsive, the group took a different approach. Instead of sharing leads through their harmonies, Wendy took majority of the leads. 
Impulsive did not reach number one, but going number four is still a great accomplishment. I don't wanna think about it. Don't wanna think For their fourth single, You're In Love, it went back to sharing leads through their harmonies, and it went back to the top of the charts, their third from that debut album. Their final single, The Dream Is Still Alive, paid homage to their co-songwriter's daughter, Glenn Ballard, who passed away at six months old. The Dream Is Still Alive peaked at number 12 on the Billboard Hot 100. The dream is still alive, look here in my eyes. The album itself proved to be successful. The album went five times platinum in America, which was a record for girl groups at the time. The album also saw the girls nominated for five Grammys. With the success of their debut album, the girls got back in the studio and worked on their second album. Shadows and Lights was released in June 1992. Unlike their first album, which was filled with positive messages, this album was filled with darker messages. Topics included estrangement from their fathers and even child abuse. The lead off single was a ballad called You Won't See Me Cry, peaked at number 20 on the Billboard Hot 100. But the other songs failed to make any noise. The album Shadow and Lights only went platinum, underselling the previous by a lot. After the ending of the promotion, China announced that she was leaving the group for a solo career, and that ended Wilson Phillips prematurely. After Wilson Phillips ended, Carney Wilson was given her own talk show, simply called Carney, but it only ran for one season. Carney and Wendy continued to record together though. In 1993, they released a holiday album called Hey Santa. Years later, in 1997, The Wilsons recorded a collab album with their father Brian, simply called The Wilsons. In November 1995, China Phillips released her first solo album, Naked and Scared. The album was critically praised for Phillips' songwriting, but failed to meet the commercial success of her days with Wilson Phillips. The album instead performed well overseas. In 2001, Wilson Phillips had their first performance since their breakup at Radio City Music Hall to perform a tribute concert for the Beach Boys. For China, it was an emotional performance as days earlier, her father John Phillips of Mama and Papa passed away from heart failure. In 2004, Wilson Phillips released their first album in a decade, a cover album called California. The album was successful in terms of the adult contemporary genre, and after the California era ended, the group broke up again. During this second break, Carney got involved in television again. She became a correspondent for Entertainment Tonight. She had her own reality show called Carney Wilson Unstapled, hosted the game show network show The Newlyweds Game, among many other television ventures. In 2013, Carney was diagnosed with Bell's palsy, which means facial paralysis. Meanwhile, China was involved in a small scandal involving her family. China's half-sister, Mackenzie Phillips, released a book called High on Arrival, and in the book, Mackenzie revealed that she had sex and got pregnant by her own father, John Phillips. Mackenzie would get an abortion paid by her father. And how did all this tie into China? Well, with Phillips' ex-wives denying these claims, China came out and said that she believed her sister thanks to phone conversations she had back with 1997. And what's crazier, the next year, China had to receive treatment for anxiety. Was this anxiety caused by the deep, dark family secret? We'll never know, and that's none of my business. In 2011, they had their biggest reunion to date, crashing the wedding on the movie Bridesmaids, performing their big hit, Hold On. Shortly after, they started their own reality show, Wilson Phillips Still Holding On. In connection with the show, they released another album called Dedicated, which had the cover of the Beach Boys classic, Good Vibrations. Although uncredited, the group contributed background vocals on the Rihanna and Paul McCartney song, Four or Five Seconds. The year prior, China was a contestant on Destiny with the Stars, but was eliminated after four weeks. In 2016, they appeared on the ABC show, Greatest Hits. In 2022, they released their cover of the Harry Styles song, Boyfriends. At the same time, the group were the runner-ups on the Fox show, The Masked Singers as Lambs. What gave them away were clues talking about their famous fathers and their reunion on Bridesmaids. For Wilson Phillips, even though their run was very short, it was remarkable. I do believe when talking about the greatest girl groups of all time, they need to be in that conversation. And before I close, go check out China's YouTube channel. 
link in the description and that's what happened to wilson phillips tell me what y'all think in the comments below please like and subscribe to the channel thanks for watching and i'll see you next time